So let's balance this equation here. We have CO2 plus S8, carbon dioxide plus octasulfur. And this is a challenging equation to balance. I had to play with this a little bit before I made the video here. So I've counted all of the atoms up. The only thing to watch out for is you have two sulfurs here plus this one. So two plus one, three total sulfurs. And everything is balanced except the sulfur atoms. What I eventually came to was I need to get some common number here that both of these go into. So eight and three, they both go into 24. So I'm going to multiply this by three and get 24 here. So we have eight times the three. And then over here, I've got to figure out how am I going to divide the numbers up because I have sulfurs here and here. I tried a few combinations. What I ended up with was putting an eight in front of the CS2 and an eight in front of the SO2. So let's update our sulfurs here. Eight times two, that's the 16, plus eight times the one, that's eight. And that gives us 24. So we've actually balanced the sulfur atoms. Now we've got to update the carbon and the oxygen. So if we look at carbon, we have one times eight. That'll give us eight carbons. And oxygen, we have two times eight. That gives us a total of 16 oxygens. Over on this side, if I want to get eight of these carbons, I need to put an eight here. One times eight, that balances the carbon atoms. And then two times eight, that gives us 16. And we're done. This equation is balanced. And this was tough. I usually record my videos as I do them. This one I had to stop and try to figure out myself before I made the video. So that's how I balance the equation CO2 plus S8. There probably are other ways, but this seems to work pretty well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.